All right. Let me put the same to you, Paul. Uh, yes. Does it make business sense for you? Because the show today is about the opportunities of making money in the energy sector, uh, selling these technologies that we are promoting. Yes. One way, one mechanism I realized to push the energy, to push the concept through is partnering with different electrical shops. Mm. I'll give an example. If I'm building a house, I'll definitely go to an electrical shop if I want to buy electrical items. So it makes much more sense to put solar items next to electrical items. That way, it's, I can, if someone approaches to me, tells me they're building a house, I can tell them, if you buy these solar products, mm. it will save you much more than the electrical item that you'd probably have bought at a lower cost. Okay. For you watching us at home, uh, you can send us a message on the number that's showing on your screen, or you can go to our social media sites, both Twitter and Facebook. As you prepare to ask your questions, I have Hamid from Barefoot. Hamid, uh, what made you see that there were ac people could actually make b money from selling these products? First of all, um, we, the regional business managers, mm. we, we've been selling these systems to different people in the market. And then we reached a point where we thought some people could also sell this product and also they make some money for themselves. And then uh, we at first thought of uh, dealers so the dealers are quite different from the entrepreneurs. Dealers are people who already have their shops, they have their capital, mm. just come in, we deliver to them. Now we also wanted to include in another segment, now those are the entrepreneurs. That's why we at a point said we should invite youth, but only not only youth, also anyone who feels they can mm. sell this. So we had to invite them in, sell, teach them how to sell the product, product knowledge and how they can approach the market so at the end they are quite doing well. Okay, let me find out from the two that uh, are here. How much money have you made from selling these products? In a month, like if I sell Firefly Mobile, I can get 600. 600,000 shillings? Yeah, in a month. Okay, and uh, you Paul? My first week I made 200,000 mm. from partnering with the shop. Okay. So. In these two months, I've made 500,000, mm. just in the first two months. Mm. So, and it keeps growing on a weekly basis. Oh, so you've just done this for two months? For the particular, for the partnering, mm. I've done it for two months, but I've done this for three years. Okay. Yes. All right. Hamid, uh, what conditions do you give uh, to entrepreneurs like this? Because I'm sure there's some at home that are watching that would be interested in actually selling these products and make some money, like Marjorie and Paul have. Okay. Uh, it's, it's simple. We, we do this quarterly. Uh, after every three months, we, we invite in entrepreneurs mm. to apply. Mm. Yeah. Uh, sometimes we, we, we ask those ones whom we have already trained to bring in their colleagues. Sometimes we advertise. We also put on our social media. So what they do is just simple. You can come from every part of the country. Uh, you just need to get 100,000. You come in, register, then after registering, you get a training, a basic training of one week. That is sales training and uh, marketing. Then you product knowledge, also management. Mm. Uh, the 100,000 helps you to, uh, it, we use that one for buying material, lunch, uh, giving you breakfast. Then at the end of that training, we give you marketing material. Uh, that's, those are the flyers, t-shirts, we give you a bag. We give you um, two sample products, which you can start with. How much it's are like, those two sample products that you give? That's two sample products actually cost more than 100,000. More than 100,000. Yeah, but we give that after the training. Okay. Yeah. All right. That sounds perfect. Do we have any questions from the audience now? I will first take the lady uh, at the back. Thank you very much. My question goes to Paul. You say that somebody can come and they are not aware of what you have. And they are like, they start criticizing or what. So my question is, we know that this energy is good, but what strategies are you putting down to see that awareness is created amongst the population to promote this? Thank you. I will allow Paul to answer, but I know that uh, that's a, a lot bigger than the sector that he's handling. And so I'll throw it to somebody else uh, who is a bigger player. But yes, Paul. Okay, let me take the approach of a community. I will look at a community leader. I will come, approach him, explain my products, give him a sample, mm. tell him to use it for a week. I know that people come to visit him, 
So even when he's going, probably to visit a friend, he'll move with the product. So through all these activities and interactions with the community, people will see how it works. They will ask him questions. And it's much more convincing to buy a product from someone you know. So through working with him, they will accept the product much more than if I had gone to the community members themselves. Mm. So that's the approach I'm using and it's working for me. Okay. Hamid, these challenges are actually real. Uh, people don't know about these products and they fear to switch to them. How do you get the entrepreneurs ready to answer questions like that? Yeah, right. Uh, there is a, there's that big problem which uh, people still have. They don't understand solar that so much. And uh, one of the reasons why we invite these entrepreneurs for a training is to answer such basic questions. Mm. Uh, these questions sometimes vary from, do you give warranty? Does this re thing really work? Where do you manufacture them from? Yeah. Um, when you come to sales, not that everybody can sell. Yeah. Knowing the product, getting the product knowledge is so important, and that's why we invite them so that they can answer such questions.